Excuse me? <laughs> Hi, I didn't mean to startle you. Hey, um... Hi. Sorry, sorry. I, I, you just seemed very flustered, and I didn't mean to spook you or anything. Hi, hello. Yes? No, I'm not lost. No, no, no. I know where I am. No, I'm... Well, actually, technically, yes, I am looking for the manager. Yes, I, I know you're the manager. <laughs> no, I am... I'm not looking to file a complaint, actually. No, I don't have a voucher to... A voucher. <laughs> now I'm making a fool of myself. No. Mm -hmm, a voucher? Is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> then let me properly introduce myself. I am actually the owner for the company. You may call me Yami. <laughs> no, I'm I'm the owner. There's a reason why there is a why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I I know you don't mean any disrespect by it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I look young. I only wish I felt young. <sighs> oh, yes. Well, I did say I came looking for the manager, and I know you're the manager. I actually did want to speak to you. Do you mind? Have a seat. Very well. So, I'll cut... I'll cut right to the chase. I run my business very close to my heart. I started this when I was very young, and I've been building it up ever since. I am very straightforward, and I am very, very stern when it comes to my business practices. And I'm not shy of firing and rehiring and new managers, new employees. And frankly to say it, in the four months that you've been working here as manager, you have managed to completely turn around the ship in this area that I thought that was completely dead. <laughs> the board members told me that, frankly speaking, we should demolish this place, cut our losses, and accept it as it is. But you see, like this place is, is very close to me. I um, I mean, this is the second. Yeah, this is the second business that I've ever opened up. Now that I have 24, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know, I have a very sentimental places for the the ones that I made from scratch, the ones that I build up, and the ones that I started this all off with, and I just want to say thank you. I wanted to come down here personally. To see the person that has been reviving my passion. Reviving the thing very close to me. And I want to say thank you. And I want to say you're doing a great job. I can't imagine how hard 
and how stressful work must be. I can't imagine how much you're under right now or the fact that you are balancing all of this. I want to thank you personally. I don't normally do this type of things, but I don't know. I just wanted to see face to face the person that's been doing such an amazing job. And I don't mean that like blanket wise. I mean, look at all of these documents. Look at all of these pointers. Look at all of these things that you've accomplished. I can't imagine and I needed to say, needed to see the person that's behind it all. <laughs> Please, you flatter me. Well, if I have to return the favor, then I'd say that I can't believe that the person behind all of this is not only extremely smart, extremely intelligent, extremely beautiful. We have a sense of humor, and yet somehow is humble. How about this? I, I have one more meeting tomorrow morning, but for the rest of the evening and night, I'm free. How about I take you to dinner sometime? Tonight is what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> Here, do you have um a book? Yeah. Let me just This is this is my private number. I don't usually give this out, so please don't let anybody know about this and <laughs> Yeah. It's just between you and I. When you're done with your shift today, give me a call and we can properly sort out dinner tonight. How about that? Yeah? Um, before that, are you vegetarian or I just want to make sure about all the things that you want to eat, don't want to eat, the places you'd be comfortable going yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I understand. I'll make a list of all the res I'll make a list of all the restaurants that fit these criteria. When you call me later, just to confirm. I'll put in the reservations just for us. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. I don't treat everyone like this. As I said, it's not every day you meet someone as smart. And I mean book smart and common sense smart. It's not every day you meet someone as beautiful. It's not every day you meet someone as humble, as understanding, as compassionate. I took some time to speak to all of the people that you're managing and every single one of them, it's a bit creepy, but every single one of them have extremely good things to say about you. <laughs> no, don't worry, I didn't tell them I'm the boss. I just told them that I'm here for a report. I'm making a report on the person that somehow managed to save a failing business. <laughs> not one of them decided that they would say anything bad about you they all praise your leadership they all praise the quality of life things you do for them I respect that alright um, I did say I have nothing else to do for the evening but when I say I have nothing else to do for the evening I mean nothing I have to go travel in person for i do need to go make some calls answer some mails do some accounting because 
Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself, you know? I'm glad you understand. Alright, um... You keep doing what you're doing, okay? Hey, um... I'm not sure if you heard this today, but you did good. If no one said this to you, I want to say this to you. I'm proud of you. So keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on being who you are. You're amazing. Hope you remember that. Always. Hmm? <laughs> You want me to say the thing? <sighs> Fine, I'll say the thing. Remember that. When you go through today, you can go through today knowing and you will always have a home and I will always love you. Now and forever, always. Goodbye. Um, hey, hi, hello there. Hey, baby booze. Hello there, my beautiful little starlights. Um, my voice is actually just getting back. I'm kind of here drinking a cup of tea <laughs> to try to settle my voice. Um, I've kind of been playing Tower Fantasy almost all night with my friends. Uh, so my voice has been a bit strained. Um, so when I had to record this, it was going by the time I got to the end of the audio. <laughs> so I didn't do any audios for the last two days. Um, the previous day, I had hit a mental block where emotionally I couldn't bring myself to portray any of his scripts and a kind of you know that feeling where you tell yourself you'll give yourself 10 minutes and then you get up and do it but then when you try to get up and do it and you try to do it you just hate how you sound you hate how you feel you hate going through the motions of doing it right and then you go and you sit down and you move and you you clean one part of the house and you clean the other part of the house and then you come and lay down and then you watch TikTok and then you do this and then you do that and you try to distract yourself from that feeling and then you go back to do what you want to do and then it's just you just can't and then yesterday um i i finally got shopping done and I made a large meal for myself to eat and for the last month or so because I've been kind of rationing out my food I haven't been eating as much as I'd like or as healthy as I'd like and yesterday I decided that I would eat and then I ate and I was like oh my god I forgot how much I can cook so I ate and then I ate again and then I ate again <laughs> and before I even noticed, it turned out I ate, like, five times the amount I would normally eat for, like, the past month. And I think that, like, forced my stomach to overpack. And I started feeling physically sick. I wanted to vomit. I felt, like, pain in my body. I felt, like, nauseous. I had a headache. And my body temperature shot up to, like... God knows how much I took a shower just to make it through the night. And I had such a hard time with it that I woke up the next morning and I was like, okay, I'm going to get some work done. But I was bedridden. And the only thing I felt like doing was curling into a bowl to stop the pain in my stomach. And I slept. I slept the entire day. I, I, I literally woke up like four in the evening. Because every time I'd wake up, I'd feel sick and I'd be in this daze. Like, I'd be dreaming and I couldn't tell the difference between being awake and dreaming. That's how much out of it I was. But I went through today 
I made sure I ate proper amounts, not trying to overeat, not trying to undereat. When I felt like I needed something more, I got some tea or I got some soda, something to pack up the difference. And I'm feeling a lot better now, but I'm feeling good enough to record. And hopefully you guys like this. Um, this is kind of like a boss, a boss, uh, having a crush on your boss kind of deal. And I just thought I'd give this a go because I think somebody requested it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, remember to take care of yourselves. Remember to eat. Remember to keep hydrated. Remember to eat. Remember to keep hydrated. And I am saying these things as a guideline for you and for myself. We are just trying to be healthy people. Remember to keep happy. Remember to smile. Remember to keep on pushing forward. Remember that you are beautiful, but you're most gorgeous when you smile. So never stop smiling. Remember that each and every one of you are special and amazing in your own unique ways. I'm proud of you guys, I support you guys, and I always will be here for you guys. Alright, if you've made it this far in the video, somehow, and you like the content, and and you want to leave a, um, <laughs> if you made it this far in the content, and you want to leave a like and a comment down below, please do, but for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors, the rules are simple. I'll go rock, paper, scissor, and then shoot up on shoot, announce where they went. And if I've won, you're not obligated to subscribe to me. If I've lost, you're not obligated to go down in the comment section and let me know. If it's a draw... Oh, hello there, kitten. <clears throat> Sorry, the kitten got into my room. I was biting my ankle. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? No? You're just going to curl up in my chest? Okay. Um, yeah, as for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I'll go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot up on shoot on answer that I went. And if I have won, you're not obligated to subscribe. If I have lost, you're not obligated to go down in the comment section and rub it in my face. If it's a draw, you're not obligated to meet me here tomorrow to play again. And if I beat you two times in a row, you're not to put a notification button. If I beat you three times in a row, you're not belong to me, mind, body, and soul. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Today I went rock because that's the only thing I can make with the kitten in my hand. <laughs> so that means if you went paper, you just won. But if you went scissors, you just lost. Hey, 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 hey. Careful. Alright. Okay, you want down, you want down. Don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump, buddy. Hey, buddy, don't jump. You'll get hurt. Let me put you down. Calm down. There you go. There you go. Ooh, ooh. Calm down. Okay, the kittens are still not used to having heights. So whenever they're on a height for too long, they try to get down, but they don't, like, understand. And I don't want them to, like, jump out of my hand. Okay, so anyway, um, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you guys in the next audio. Oh, bye bye